Okay, here's my dilemma. I'm doing this video where I need to show the iPhone in the same frame as uh, me talking. So as you see, you see here, I'm I'm talking, right? I'm walking around. Uh, what I've done is I've taken my cursor right here. I put it on the top of this uh, little red line that's in my timeline, and I'm going to drag it across. Now you can see my face here, and I put this clip right here just above, right? So let's un un highlight it. And if you look, when I that what happens is when it gets here, it covers the whole area. What I want to do is take this clip, this clip here, and I want to shrink it and put it inside of this clip here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the cursor over. I'm going to take my, I'm going to pull the red line over. I'm going to take my cursor with my mouse. I'm going to click on this and it highlights it yellow. Then I'm going to go up here to this little box with the four little circles in the corner and I'm going to click the down arrow and it's going to give me three different things. I got to hit transform. Now when I go to transform, now I can change the size of it. I can contract this by grabbing the corner blue button here and squeezing it forward or I can uh, I can increase the size so you can contract it and you can increase the size by doing that now you got to get it to the size that you want and once you have done that you're going to take your cursor put it on there push your finger on your mouse and push it down and now you can drag it see how I'm moving it around like I put it over here in the corner now if I wanted to I could actually change the angle of this clip by grabbing this little blue let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see it by grabbing this little blue button here and then just kind of turning it like this so if i wanted to take do that and then move this over here into the corner i could do that right and so now what i've done is i've transformed it and, and i made a pitch on it but i think what i'll do is i'll just leave it at about 180 degrees and then I'm going to take and I'm going to shrink it down and we'll just put it like over here maybe we'll pull it up just a little bit so you can see it a little bit better like that it kind of runs over the thing but that's okay and then if we're done we just come up here and hit done bam and now if you want to watch it we'll pull this back and we'll just hit hit the space bar so it plays through and there we go voila we just transformed that clip. We put the clip inside of a clip, and now you can have more flexibility in your creativity with Final Cut Pro. So anyway, that's how it works. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on how to do stuff with Final Cut Pro. Peace out.